Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This week's video is going to be a crochet vlog, which I really enjoy to make. Um, but I just want to explain a little bit about um, this vlog this week. So this week I'm actually going to be traveling, so it's kind of like a mini travel crochet vlog. <laughs> um, I'm not going very far, but I'm going to my parents' house for Thanksgiving. And so every time I get a little chance to crochet, um, I'm mainly going to be focusing on crocheting um, like smaller items for my next market. So this is one thing that I made um, last night, and I think he's so cute. He's just a little no-so chicky. Um, so I'm going to make uh, a few of these. I also made a chicken the other night. But um, so this vlog is going to take us through Thanksgiving and maybe some other fun little things. So I hope I can insert some clips of um, all the festivities. But if not, at least there will be some crochet and I'll share with you everything that I was able to prep this week. Um, I have so much prep to do. It's crazy. Um <laughs> I have like no inventory for my next market, so pretty much starting from zero. So um, let's all like get our yarn out and just start doing some hyperdrive crochet together. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, stick around with me to see what else I make. As you can see, I have my yarn packed, ready to go. <laughs> um, one bag's filled with all of the yarn, and the other bag's filled with some more yarn, but my stuffing and my eyeballs. So uh, yeah, everything's ready to go. Um, little travel crochet. I don't think I'm gonna be able to crochet in the car. I definitely get car sickness when I read and I don't know if it's the same with crochet and I don't know if I'm willing to um, find out. <laughs> so I probably won't do cro uh, car crochet, but we'll see, maybe I will. But I'm all packed, ready to go. Maybe I can get some crochet done now. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna make just before I'm waiting to head out on my little road trip is I'm gonna make some maple chickens. I know so many people are getting like tired of the chickens, but I haven't been making them for that long and I really like them. So I'm gonna make more for my next market. They sold well at the last one and people just love them, at least in my area. So I am gonna be making some of the little speckle guys, but my new strategy with these, since I have to prep so many items for my next show, is that I'm going to just make the bodies and then um, fill in, like, I mean, not fill in, and then, like, complete the rest of the parts, like, stuffing and doing the beak and the eyes um, later so I can at least get the longest part out of the way, which is crocheting the bodies, um, so I can try to have more prepped so I'll um, set you guys up while I'm making the body of this little turkey. Uh, turkey, oh my gosh, I'm thinking of Thanksgiving. <laughs> while I'm making the body of this little chicken um, and we'll, we'll do some crochet together. So let's, I'll start a time lapse with some cute music. <laughs> finished my chicken body came out pretty cute so I'm just gonna put it put this off to the side and keep making bodies until I have a whole bunch but I looked at the time lapse and it's so funny I wish I could crochet that fast in real life <laughs> that would be awesome it's so fast <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna keep making some tur uh, chickens and also for this one I would like to make like some cats and some dogs what's up Dewey <laughs> That meow. Um, and some other animals because this market is pet pictures with Santa, which is so cute. So I think there's going to be like a lot of dogs. I don't know if there'll be cats, but probably a lot of dogs. So I want to make sure I make dogs. And I've never made a dog before. So um, 
If anyone has some dog pattern recommendations, let me know. Um, particularly smaller items because I don't have a lot of time to prep. So I'd like to have a few, uh, a few dogs that are not um, super time consuming to make. So please, all the dog patterns that you like, let me know in the, in the comments, especially no so, those would be awesome, or low so, perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing, uh, maybe make another little turkey, and then I'm probably gonna have to get off um, onto the road soon just to get to um, my parents' house in Long Island. And Dewey's also coming with us. I don't like leaving Dewey by himself for too long, so he's gonna be traveling. He's a really good traveler, he likes it, and he likes my parents. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah. Michael, pick up your plate for one second. Oh, it's all dirty. <laughs> hey everyone. I hope you will enjoy that little video montage. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I'm back in my apartment and it's after Thanksgiving. I hope you all had such a good Thanksgiving. It was a really nice break. It was much needed. <laughs> but I did not um, film while I was at my parents' house. Um, it just got to be, uh, you know, very busy. We ended up doing like a lot of Christmas decorating during the weekend and all that fun stuff. And then I ended up feeling kind of sick. So if my voice sounds super scratchy, that's why I definitely have like a little frog stuck in my throat. It's so scratchy. <laughs> but um, I did get some crochet done. So since I didn't really get to vlog a whole lot this past weekend, I think... <laughs> I think I'm going to extend this video and release it um, possibly on Wednesday instead of Monday like usual. But because of the holiday, things got a little messed up. But let me show you what I was able to make over Thanksgiving break so far. So the first thing that I absolutely love is this little kitty cat in pajamas. <laughs> I got these little safety noses and I'm so pleased with them because... I'm not the best at embroidering noses, so I just love how the little nose looks. I think it looks a little bit more finished too, just for me. Um, but I wanna maybe make a polar bear and a dog also, wearing a little outfit, maybe like with stripes. I was gonna try to embroid, embroider zigzags, but again, I'm not good at embroidering. <laughs> so he just kinda turned out like this, but I really like her. Um, so that's one thing I made, and she took maybe like an hour to make, I would say. Again, all my patterns, um, not my patterns, but the patterns I used will be linked below. I also made a little brontosaurus. This was a free pattern on Instagram, no sew. Um, it has just bobble legs, which I find to be much easier than having, like, connecting the four legs. And his eyes are not glued on yet, but I think I'm going to have to glue eyes on this one because I started with the head, but then I couldn't tell where I was supposed to put the eyes. So I had to wait until like the whole thing shaped to figure out where the eyes are going to go. So now I kind of know better how the eyes go, but he's just really cute and he stands up and his head stays up. So I was very pleased with how he came out. And I also made a little stegosaurus which this one can be no sew, but I messed up. So I had to sew on the little, not sew on, but I guess crochet on these little guys. I have to finish it off. But again, this was another like pretty simple pattern and came out very cute. I'm super pleased. 
I wanted to make a, like some more different creatures for this next one. Um, so yeah, I hope, you know, I hope they're liked. <laughs> I also made some little mallards, which for my previous one, I had tried to make one and he came out so strange looking because I used two small eyes. <laughs> but I think these guys look pretty good. I might have been able to even use bigger eyes. Let me know. Should I try to make them with bigger eyes? I don't know. But my mom really seemed to love them. So hopefully they do okay at my market on Saturday. I think they're pretty cute. I like, oops, I like how round they are. I love the round things. <laughs> um, and then again, I have the chick I showed you from before. And I sewed up these chickens. I still have another empty body. And I have to put the little combs on the top still. But um, I have so much more crochet to do. It's not even funny. I'm actually pretty stressed out. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's before for my last market, I had so much stuff. But now for this one, I, I don't have much at all. So this week I have to do so much um, crocheting. But my husband for my birthday, which is tomorrow, he did give me a knitting machine, which I was like, I was so excited and so happy. So I'll maybe I'll make a video um, just like using that for the first time. That could be fun. I'm really excited to try that. But anyways, I'm going to keep crocheting for my market this week. And um, if you'd like to keep watching along and crocheting along, that'd be awesome. All right. So I'll let you know what I'm making next. I did get <clears throat> my voice. I'm sorry. I did get a few colors from Michael's. I got this like... <sighs> Honestly, I thought this would be more brown, but it's pretty dark. It's almost like the black. I got this one. I got this more sandy color. I used this gray blue for my elephants. And I also got black. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the black, honestly. But I wanted some more, like, animal-y colors. So I wish this was a little bit more of a lighter brown. But I was going to use it for dogs. It's just pretty dark. We'll have to see. And then I also got this little project bag from um, Little Robin Cottage on Instagram and on Etsy. Um, I'll link her shop. I adore her things. I buy stitch markers from her. And this is my first project bag. And I think it's so cute. So check out her shop. Look at those gingerbread men. Ah, so cute. Alrighty, so I pulled out my mustard colored yarn. Please ignore my voice. I know I sound a little bit like a monster, <laughs> but I'm going to be making a <clears throat> golden retriever right now. So um, I might put on a time lapse. Um, I might not, but get crocheting with me and let's try to market prep as much as possible together. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> my golden retriever it's the next day and my voice is much better now <laughs> i was listening back to the clips from yesterday and i sound so bad <laughs> but i had a couple moments today with a really scratchy voice but today i'm uh doing a little bit better for at least for the video but here's my little golden retriever and or um or just a little golden puppy dog and I think he came out really cute. I put a little red bow on him, just tied some yarn. He has four little bobble feet. He's a little top heavy, but I think that's my fault. I think I crocheted a little more loosely on the head than I did the body. So the head came out a little bigger. I mean, he is supposed to have a big head, but still. Um, but yeah, I hope someone who has a, cro uh, a golden retriever really loves him or her. And um, yeah, I'm pleased with how it came out. So I made him last night, and I also made a pickle. So 
the golden retriever took me a long time so i have a little pickle <laughs> i think i'm gonna work on some smalls tonight um and just get some of those done for the market like maybe some octos maybe get some piggies um i need leggy frogs um but yeah i'm just i don't know i haven't been feeling so great this week um so I'm just trying to chug along the best I can. But today is my birthday. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just have not been feeling myself. Which is not good because I have to market prep as much as possible. When I just want to like lay down and um, not do anything after work. And just like cook dinner and go to bed. But I'm still trying to make some little, some little guys. Um... But yeah, I really like how he came out. This is a great pattern. It comes with a, another version of a dog too that has more like short little pointy ears and it's he's two colors, which is really cute. It just seems like a lot of color changes and I don't know if I have the patience for that right now. Um, so I stuck with the one color and this is with the, the mustard color from Sweet Snuggles Light. So yeah, definitely try him out because I think he's pretty darn cute. <laughs> So I'll keep you updated if I make anything else tonight. Um, and we'll just go from there. But again, sorry if I'm not myself this video. I'm just kind of trying to recover a little bit from whatever is going on with me. <laughs> but thank you so much if you stuck around for the video. All right, I'm going to keep crocheting and I'll update you. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on and put a little end on this very interesting video. <laughs> I made two of these cute little eggs and I think these eggs might be my favorite thing to make. They're very simple, very relaxing, and the result is adorable. So I definitely recommend these little fried eggs. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, also got some market prep done. Um, I'm hoping this market goes well on Saturday and I wish everyone so much luck for your markets that are this weekend i know a lot of people have holiday markets left to do so i hope you just do amazing and thank you so much for watching and i'll be back with more videos real soon all right bye everybody